Water chestnut, Trapa natans, is a rooted floating aquatic invasive plant native to Europe and Asia and was first observed in the United States in Massachusetts in the late 1800s. It is the plant in this photo with triangular leaves and teeth on the leaf margins. It invades shallow to deep freshwater habitats in the northeastern United States. It can grow in 12 to 15 feet of water and form dense, floating mats, often three layers deep. Water chestnut foliage floats on the surface of the water with the help of a specialized bladder structure on its leaves. This plant has small, four petal white flowers that you can see on the plants in July and August. Water chestnut forms a nut-like fruit that is two to four half inch long, sharp barbed spines that can even penetrate shoes. You usually start to see them on the plants late July and August. They ripen in about a month and can remain viable for as long as 12 years in the muck of the water. Each seed can produce one to 15 rosettes and each rosette can produce as many as 20 seeds. While it is unlikely that any aquatic animals utilize the water chestnut fruits, terrestrial wildlife, such as chipmunks, collect and eat them when the water level is low enough to access the fruits in the mud. They are not the same as water chestnuts, scientific name Eleocharis dulcis, you find in Asian cuisines. Water chestnuts have become problematic in Concord's local rivers and ponds because it can form dense floating mats that restrict light availability, reduce oxygen content in the water, and displace other native emergent and floating vegetation. As you can see in this photo, it likes the same conditions as the beautiful native white water lily, scientific name Nymphaea odorata. It also limits boating, fishing, swimming, and other recreational activities in rivers and ponds. In Concord, the Sudbury, Assabet, and Concord rivers all have water chestnuts present, along with being found in certain nearby ponds in the region as well. The Concord Land Conservation Trust has been working for years to manually remove water chestnuts from Fairhaven Bay and the Sudbury River. The Land Trust has several kayaks modified with bins attached to the front to manually pu pull and remove plants. And when the infestation was at its worst, the Land Trust used a water chestnut harvester machine which was able to pull more water chestnuts out than just hand pulling in a kayak alone could. These efforts by volunteers, interns, board members, and staff of the Land Trust have helped to significantly reduce the amount of water chestnuts in Fairhaven Bay and are still working today to remove water chestnuts in the Sudbury River. If you are wondering what happens once the water chestnuts are removed from the river, they are simply dumped in designated areas above the flood line in the forest as they decompose nicely and cannot survive out of the water.